morning everyone welcome to thursday's video it's day nine i think day nine of my 30 day challenge to be on plan and yesterday was way day so i didn't film my food yesterday but i was i was on plan um i can't remember how many sins i ended on i didn't write it down but i had it in my head and i think it was it was either 15 and a half or 16 so it was like slightly over but i still feel like that's on plan and in control and you know what have you so yeah I'm happy with that I also yesterday was really pleased with myself because I had a Spanish lesson and I've been trying to learn Spanish for probably I don't know maybe a year 18 months and obviously when I'm away in Fuerteventura I was studying every day and I was speaking to people in Spanish and you know the bus announcements and the supermarket and the radio and everything's all in Spanish so I was quite immersed in it but since I've been back here and we've been back over a month now I haven't done a great deal so I was slightly nervous of my lesson yesterday because it's the first one I've had back and my teacher's absolutely lovely but I really like her and we get on really well and I kind of was thinking oh no I'm gonna have forgotten everything but actually once we got going it was really good and she kept saying to me, you, I can tell you've been away, I can tell you've been studying, your confidence has got better and so although I didn't see it in myself, the fact that she's pointed it out to me is great and she's not the sort of person who would just say that, do you know what I mean? She's not just saying it because I'm paying her to teach me, do you know what I mean? She She's not like that at all. She's very um, real, that's why I like her. And so, you know, when I make mistakes, she's the first one to tell me. But yeah, I was really pleased. Um, it gave me quite a boost and it's motivated me again to, to do my studying every day and get better and maybe even one day become fluent, who knows? So yeah, that was a, a nice little thing I thought I'd share with you. Um, the other thing, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, I've got, we've been for a walk in Brixham. I didn't vlog it because it's pretty grim this morning. It's cold and like the sea's grey, the sky's grey. It's not, it's not great. So, but we did a little walk anyway. And you'll see in a minute, I've had to eat. I had it really early. I had some egg and spinach because at half nine today, I'm doing a Pilates class. Where, now I've never done Pilates before. I have got no idea what it is really, um, but I'm kind of a bit nervous now because I'm thinking it's going to be quite difficult. But it's with my yoga teacher, so you know she knows what my capabilities are or aren't, shall we say. So yeah, wish me luck on that one. I might not be able to move later. And then after that, Martin and I are going to head off to Torquay because I need to do some shopping. I'm. Um, I'm not a great shopper, I don't buy loads and loads of stuff, but I do need some bits, I need, desperately need some clothes and I need some kind of home bits, not, not stuff, but like cleaning stuff, I need some shampoo and conditioner, I need some like packaging stuff for my business, for um, wrapping things up and, you know, envelopes and stuff like that, so it's nothing mega exciting, but I shall be going to Wilco's and Primark and maybe Sports Direct to get some new shoes. I'm not sure about that yet. So anyway, if I do get anything, I will show you, but I'll probably show you in tomorrow's vlog. Oh no, I won't actually, because tomorrow I'm going to Exeter to see my dad and my sister. So no, I'll show you today if I get anything. And um, we're also going to have lunch out, which I'm also having lunch out tomorrow. So I need to be very mindful to try and um, make good choices. You can have food out on Slimming World. There's plenty of choice. It's just whether in the moment you make the right choice. But I'm still quite determined. And um, yeah, I'm going to try and make a good choice. But I will vlog it and I'll show you what I have. I've already made tonight's dinner which is a rice and chicken barbecue chili kind of concoction which I'm going to serve in the like the little lettuce cups 
so I'm looking forward to that. I made that yesterday. It's got lots of speed food in it as well, so that should be good. And um, yeah, hopefully another good day on plan. I've already made a little pot of fruit to eat on the way to Torquay after Pilates, because I expect I'll be hungry. So yeah, I think that's it really. Oh, just one more thing. I have got a giveaway going at the moment. It's called Vegan Giveaway, and I know I'm not vegan anymore, but... I still can do it and it's still nice things even if you're not vegan so um, I obviously still will be having vegan meals I had a vegan meal last night in fact I had a vegan no I didn't have a vegan day yesterday because I had a yogurt but my lunch I think was vegan and my dinner because I had the kebab meat stuff in a pit of bread what have I got on my honestly I'm so messy um anyway I'm rambling now but last night I had like a pasta thing that I'd made um a lentil ragu that was really nice so instead of like a bolognese sauce it was using lentils and that was really yummy actually I've got loads of it left over so I'll probably have it tomorrow night as well so I'll show it you then but yeah that's it really from me so I will catch you later on and yeah here's what I'm eating today I also said that over the next, um, during the 30 day challenge, that I would answer some of the questions that you guys have been very kind to send me. And because I haven't, I just, I know I'm not going to have time to do a, a separate question and answer film video. So I'll try and do a couple when I can um, fit them into these daily vlogs. So I'll try and do a couple now. Thanks so much for sending them all. They're, they're brilliant. And I'll just pick a couple at random and try and answer them. So first one is, do I make a shopping list? Um, the answer to that is yes, I try to, because if I don't make a shopping list, I'm really like random and I just run around the shop. I quite often go to Aldi these days and I just go around and buy random stuff that then I get home and I don't have a clue, a plan as it were, of what I'm gonna do with it. So yes, I do make a shopping list probably 85% of the time and I find that that really helps me and it helps me stay on plan. Do I have a favourite meal? Yes, I think one of my favourite meals has got to be... Oh, this is really difficult. There's so many. Right, I've got to pick one. Okay, spaghetti bolognese. I think that's got to be one of my all-time favourites. I, I love it. I do really like pasta. And obviously it would have to have cheese on the top of it because I love cheese. So yeah, spaghetti bolognese, I suppose, is my favourite meal. Right, one more question. Um, One kitchen item that I can't live without. I think for me it would have to be my steamer. It's not an electric one, but it's got, you know, it's got like the bottom bit that you put the water in and then you put the two, I've got two bits that you put on the top and then the lid and I cook all my veg in there um, and I probably use it almost every day. So yeah, that would be the one thing that I couldn't live without, definitely. I'm just going to quickly eat this before we go out for our walk. It's about quarter to seven and it's just two eggs which are free on Slimming World and some spinach which is speed. I had fruit, speed and free on the way to Torquay and then for my lunch I had jacket, potato and beans which is all speed and free on Slimming World. So I'm back from Torquay and I went to Primark, Wilco's and Home Bargains and I did buy stuff so I've got a haul for you so I'll do that this is going to be a long video um I'll do the haul in a minute I was really pleased with myself at lunchtime I chose jacket potato which is free beans which are free and it came with a little salad there was no butter or dressing or anything like that so all free and a tiny bit of speed and it was massive, actually, the jacket potato. Delicious, but I'm not going to need a lot of dinner. So, yeah, I was really pleased with myself for that because I'm going out for lunch tomorrow as well and I've checked out the menu for where we're going and it's not so Slimming World friendly. So I thought today I'd better make a good choice. So, yeah, I'll show you my haul now and then I'll show you what, I'm, what I have for dinner later. 
Okay, let's do Primark first. I have to say my hauls are not all that exciting. So, um, yeah, but I'll show you anyway. So, first of all, I just got some new pyjamas. They just kind of, I thought they were quite pretty green. They look like flowers and leaves, which is quite me. And then a green, like, t-shirt thing. And they were £6. And they're the Primark Cares one. So they're the long sleeve pyjamas with the short sleeve like t-shirt thing. I thought they were really nice. It's hard to do the haul, isn't it, without the rustly bag. Maybe I should have taken it all out first. I will for the next one. So I'm desperate for new shorts and I saw these ones. Um, I don't know how I can go back a bit and show you. Yeah, so they, um, I also got a size 14. I've not tried these on yet, so I'll let you know if they're any good. Um, but I find with a lot of women's shorts, they are so short. And although I've lost weight, I'm not, I'm not a stick insect, nor am I 20. And I'm sorry, but I don't want my bum cheeks hanging out the bottom of shorts. So these ones have got a bit more length to them and, you know, hopefully they'll cover me up as it were that they feel quite good quality actually I've never bought any jeans or denim items from Primark before so I'll be interested to see what these are like and again they're the Primark Cares ones which use the recycled or sustainable cotton and they were £13 so I really hope these fit because I also got these ones which are similar but they're a kind of They're like a cream colour, um, but again, they're, they're denim and they are, they've got that slightly longer bit here, which, like I say, I need. <laughs> Obviously, if you like wearing the really short shorts, then that's, I'm not judging you at all, but I know for me, I need them just that little bit longer. But on the other hand, not too long because my legs are quite short, so I look really silly. Right, because I've joined the gym, which I keep telling everybody, so I think I'm quite excited about it. I've got another pair of like gym legging things and these were £6, which I thought was quite good. And they're apparently made using recycled plastic, which probably means they'll be really hot. But anyway, um, so yeah, they are size medium. Um, yeah, they're just plain black and they've got like a sort of ribbed bit down the, the side there. I have, I do already have one pair of um, black, they're yoga pants actually, but obviously if I'm doing a couple of yoga classes and Pilates and the gym, I thought two pairs might come in handy. And I also bought myself a yoga block, which was three pounds and I need two actually, but I thought I'd try it out first. But to be fair, it seems quite robust. It's just that. But we use them quite a bit in our yoga practice. And, and I do need them because I'm not particularly bendy. So I need the block to help lift me or to put my hand on stuff like that. What else have I forgotten what I got now? Oh, I just got some new socks. They didn't have any particularly interesting ones, I didn't think. So I just went for these. They're spotty. There's a stripy pair. Another spotty one. Oh, and another spotty one. So I thought they were quite nice. £2.50 for five pairs. And then I just um, stocked up on a few vest tops because the ones that I've got, I've had for years and they've gone all like, see, like they're so thin you can see through them. So I just got this one. I got the large size in this one because I didn't want it to be too tight. And I'll probably, if it ever gets hot enough in the UK, I'll wear it here. But if not, definitely when I'm abroad. And I'm, I might even wear it sometimes when I'm doing yoga or exercise. I thought that was quite a nice colour. And that one was pound eighty such a bargain I buy a lot of new clothes but I was desperate for just a few basics and I really eventually want to get my wardrobe into like 
do they call it a capsule wardrobe so I'll have a couple of different colours and then some of this sort of um, neutrals so I can mix and match that's my plan especially if we move to Fuerteventura and I won't need as many clothes so I'm, I'm trying to stick to my colour theme at the minute so it's going to be blue blue like brown greens and neutrals on white so I just got two new vest tops which that's a sort of beigey colour one and that was £1.80 and then I got just the same but a white one again £1.80 so that oh one more thing I've never tried these before but these are cleansing wipes um, they looked seven, uh, 96 percent natural they're vegan they're green tea and chamomile for all skin types biodegradable wipes so they're just uh, for cleansing your face so yeah and they were one pound for two packs so I thought that was really good so this is my Wilco's haul. So first of all, I just got some of these silicone muffin cases because I had some of these, but they all got, you know, after a while they go horrible. So I've just replaced them because I made a load of egg muffins the other day and I made them in like the paper cake cases and it's impossible to peel them off. So, and these are reusable. So these are always a good thing multi-surface antibacterial wipes I, I never used to use stuff like this I because I am aware um obviously of the environment and I want to I don't like one-off things as it were sometimes you need to though and somebody said to me if you're if you're selling your house make sure you get some of these because it's so quick to just wipe everything down and they are a game changer, I have to say. I mean, it, it makes the kitchen surfaces look so nice. And I've got some floor ones as well. And again, you can just really quickly, if you spill something or, you know, you've got a viewing. So, yeah, I'm afraid I am going to be using those for the foreseeable. I've got a new chopping board, which is sort of navy blue. They had white ones, but they always get really, like, stained because I've cut up a lot of butternut squash and you know beetroot and all this kind of thing I thought much more sensible get one of these get a dark colored one so yeah that's just a, a new chopping board for the kitchen three lots of bubble wrap which again I don't love but I have to use it in my business for wrapping stuff up to you know send off to customers and I've got some um I tried to use brown paper as well, and this is recyclable brown paper, so that should um, be good. And just some parcel tape, so that was all for work, really. Then I got Ecova toilet cleaner, which um, is, I really like the smell of that actually. And then I also got some flash bathroom, um, they didn't have any Ecova like spray stuff so I had to get the flash one which is okay and then I got these which I have tried these before for hair wash so it's the Aussie Miracle Moist Conditioner and the Moist Shampoo I've not tried them for a few years though so I'll see how I get on with them I've never really been able to find a shampoo that my hair really loves when I was away I used the shampoo bar and that really worked well for me, but it doesn't seem to work so well here. So I'm not sure, but hopefully when I move, I can go back to just using the shampoo bars and then I don't have to have the plastic bottles quite so much. But I think this this stuff is quite good. And I seem to remember the last time I used it, my hair did seem to quite like it. So we'll give it a go. So the next up is the Home Bargains haul. And for me, this one's the most exciting because it's got food in it. And I did succumb and start buying some Bliss Bars and Skinny Whips or whatever they're called. I'll show you in a minute. I know I said I wasn't going to, but actually they do help me. And um, 
I get fed up just with the hi-fi bars so I'm gonna give it a go I have been really good with I bought a little while ago I bought some Freddo's and some Rocky bars and I have been really good with them I've only had like one and I've written it down so they don't seem to be triggering me so hopefully this whole lot will be okay and I'm not going to open all of them and put them in my sort of treat box I'm going to actually put them away in a cupboard and when I finished the Freddo's and the Rocky bars and the um, hi-fi bars that I bought this week then I'll open some of these so I, I hope I can be trusted with them but we'll see so this is what I got in Home Bargains I got this vitamin C brightening serum which is supposed to make me be brighter complexion and skin appears more even with vitamin C glow and radiance so We'll see, I don't normally buy stuff like that, but it seemed like a good idea. Got some toothbrush heads, um, which, and these are not the proper, the brawn ones. I can't get them anywhere. They don't seem to have them. And I'm sorry if I'm like squinting, but this it's quite bright outside. Um, I look like I'm frowning, but I'm not. So yeah, I just got these cheapy ones. I'll see what they're like until I can get some of the proper ones. I got some highlights on Slimming World. These are two sins each and they're really good to just, you know, have in the evening or whatever, a little chocolate boost. I got eight of those. My favourite, red split peas. I haven't been able to get these in the supermarket Audi haven't had any for ages and where else did I look Morrison's didn't have any so I was really pleased to pick these up because this is what I used to make my doll and it won't be next week but possibly the week after I will film making the doll and actually excuse me I'm going in a couple of weeks time to my dad's for a few weeks and his kitchen is much lighter than mine so I will try to do some more recipe filming so if there's anything you want me to make and film making it let me know and I'll do it whilst I'm at my dad's if I possibly can. Decaf coffee. I do not drink coffee very often but I do quite like a coffee and I thought actually because I drink decaf there's no reason why I couldn't have a coffee of an evening after my dinner. Um, it's not going to keep me awake and actually it's quite a nice um, you know tasty thing to have and it's free on Slimming World. I can use a little bit of my healthy extra milk and um, then I don't always need the hot chocolate. And on that note as well, I got some of these syrup. I got the hazelnut flavour, the splendid syrups. This is half a sin for a tablespoon, but no way do you need a tablespoon. I just have a tiny amount of this in, I probably would have some in coffee or in yoghurt or like baked oats or porridge or something like that. So. I don't sin it, but if you want to, then it's half a sin per tablespoon. And I actually got two of these because I got one for my sister. Um, she's not tried it, so I will be giving that to her tomorrow when I see her. Good old skips. I really am liking these. These are three and a half sins for a 13.1 gram bag. Great little snack. I really like them saw the skinny cracker co and they are one and a half sins each they're rosemary flavor i thought they would be quite nice i hope they're in little packs but i'm not sure no annoyingly they're in one big pack so um i'll have to be careful when I open those because obviously I won't want to have loads in one go. Sometimes the these biscuit cracker things come in like portioned packs which I think is really good because it stops you from overeating them. But hey ho, um, I also got these Melba Thins. 
and they are four sins per pack and I'm hoping that they're going to be in little yay yeah this is what I mean so they're in like little portioned packs and that's four sins and you get one two four five you get six little biscuits so I think that's actually quite good I used to eat these loads when I first used to do slimming world they're really nice if you like dip them in hummus or you've got your healthy extra cheese or something like that or you know some um you can make a nice like pate out of quark and fish or you could roast up some veg put some garlic in there anything like that homemade hummus I've just said so yeah, these are really good, just if you want a little crunchy thing. And if you don't want to use your healthy bee, I think they're quite good for four sins per pack. Now onto the sweet stuff. I saw these on Caroline Slimming World Savvy's channel and I remembered clubs. They've got quite a thick amount of chocolate on them from what I can remember. I haven't had one for absolutely years. But they're five and a half sins each, so I thought I would give those a go. So thanks for the idea, Caroline. And then I got these because I figured they were going to be quite low in sins because it says that they're 35 calories each. I'm sure they're going to be quite small. And they are two sins each. There we go. They do look quite small, but maybe two sins is quite good. I think, actually, it must have been on Rachel's Friday finds on hay bales. This is um, the kind of amazing thing she finds and tells us all about. So I'm sure that's where I saw these way back when. So yeah, these look really good for just a little sweet treat if you don't want a whole big bar or anything. Then last but not least, and why did I never know this? Apparently you can have two of these. For your healthy extra B. So this is the skinny crunch mint dark choc chip. Oh I know why I didn't have these before because they they're not gluten free that's why but that's a game changer if they're nice because it will save me spending £1.95 on hi-fi bars so I can hopefully have these instead but I'll, I'll try these when I've finished the stuff that I've already got open or they're three sins each, which is really good. Can anyone let me know if any of the other flavours of these would be your healthy extra, please? Because I don't know. I got the dark chocolate and coconut bliss bars. I really like these. These are five sins, but they take quite a bit of eating, I think. So I think they're worth five sins. I, I like those. Then I got these ones, which are the double chocolate which, oh, I didn't write those down. I guess they're five sins as well. Um, so they're good. I like those. Um, the reason I got these two is because I do really like these, but I don't love them. So I've had before, I think it was like a peanut, flavour one chocolate and peanut or something and they were divine oh and salted caramel was too divine I just used to go and want to eat the whole lot whereas these are nice I enjoy them but they won't kind of call to me if you know what I mean then I got the skinny chocolate crunch fruit and nut they are not a healthy extra they are five sins when I've scanned them on the app and then I also got the skinny chocolate crunch honeycomb, which also are, oh no, they're four and a half sins, these ones. So that's even better. Never tried these before. So yeah, I'm looking forward to trying them when I feel I can be trusted. So that's it for my haul. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. It's going to mean this video is very long. So I hope that's okay with everybody. And um the next thing you see will be my dinner and yeah thank you for watching today I will catch up with you all tomorrow I'm off to Exeter to see my sister and my dad but I will do a bit of vlogging let you know what we're up to we're going to do a walk on the way so that should be nice and um yeah thanks everyone for all your lovely comments as usual and um I'll, here's my dinner
So I'm still quite full from my jacket potato, so I didn't need a big dinner. So I put the chicken and rice thing in the freezer and that'll do fine for another day. So I've got my healthy bee pita bread. I've got free mackerel, which I've mixed with one and a half sins of sweet chilli sauce. I've got speedy rocket and tomato and a packet of skips for three and a half sins. And I will have half a sin jelly and maybe a hot chocolate later on if I need it. Thanks so much for watching. See you tomorrow. Bye.